Hello, my name is Malikar. Nice to meet you. Welcome back to Tales of Berseria. So, second character that we changed the cloth. Be like, a more important thing happened. I know, but cloth is important too. It means a new step in life. Now, for return to the van. Okay. Oh wait, what? All oh, right. Okay. Oh wait. Oh, oh, never mind. I was just here. Ah, ignore me, ignore me, run, run. <laughs> I was like, where is the music now? Just because I press the wrong button doesn't mean that I don't want music. Okay, okay, calm. Looks like you wanna die. Alright. you three is in case um, I'm like near them okay I didn't change. Where is the... Wait, wait, wait. Here. Not where is it. Hey, is everyone alright? Of course, because you protect me. Uh... I'm like, don't look at here, don't look here. Uh, I know that's. Oh, the rock is not an enemy. Oh, yeah, he saw me. Oh my god, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Okay, I got the night. I thought I smelled someone pondering. What's on your mind, Lafayette? I know Siegfried comes from another continent and all, but do you know anything else about it, Ropero? Nope, can't say I do. All I care about are swords. That contraption doesn't interest me much. I suppose that makes sense. But it looked real powerful. Just guessing based on how we saw Zavid use it, I'd say it amplifies his power somehow. An amplifier. It's true that he seemed to get stronger when he fired it at himself. Yeah, and it gave that dying legendary wyvern enough strength to escape. But wasn't it also what he used to dispel Melchior's illusions back there? That was also amplification. The Malachim are the source of his arts. The relic pushed them past their limits and... kablooey. Suffice it to say, it can be used both offensively and defensively. It must be very hard to master. More important is what the Abbey plans to do with it. Not that I really care. Hmm. Ah, uh, Magilu. Ah, uh, Magilu. Uh. All right. Um, Laffy said, may I ask you something? What is it? The girl with the umbrella from Lord Melchior's illusion. What is her connection to Aizen? I don't think he'd answer if I asked him myself. I don't know. I was wondering about her as well. She was pretty, wasn't she? Oh, so you like a girl who's cute, but with a bit of sophistication. Really? I thought his type was more like vel- uh, <laughs> shh. What's going on? <laughs> we were discussing a delicate topic. Muffy said's first crush, if you must know. Oh. No, we weren't. We were just talking about the Umbrella Girl from the Illusion. The Umbrella Girl. That illusion made Aizen hesitate. She must be really important to him. Indeed. It must be a deep, naughty relationship. Uh, come on now. Sister? Like, 
a wife he wants to leave but he can never let go. Or a lover from whom he can't move on. Cease no, there. That's too wild. And she's too young. Cease there. Nah, it's not that. What's more likely for a self-serving pirate is a daughter from a woman who only knows him by a fake name. Perhaps one whom he cast aside or who cast him aside. And maybe she was somebody he couldn't marry for some reason. But when she died, he raised her daughter for her. He had been friends with her since they were children. But they only realized their true feelings after they had been married to someone else. Is this their idea of romance? In any case, beware of girls, Luffy said. Right. <laughs> I'm saying sister or daughter of a young person that he loved. Yeah, something like that. No lover, what the hell? <laughs> right? Or maybe a lover when he was a child. Like his crush. No, that won't be too deep. Or an orphan. Always like in front. That's my son. That's my son. And it's cool that I really changes his clothes because he has evolved. Okay, everybody that I cloth clo change their clothes evolve in some type of way, so. Where am I going? We're getting something. Yeah. Now what are we gonna do? What's wrong? This dog came up with a book in its mouth. Here, take a look. Huh. It looks pretty old. I've never seen this kind of writing before. It's not ancient Avarost, that's for sure. Part of it looks like a chronology. So maybe it's a history book? If I were to guess, I'd say they're Meliodasian characters, which would peg it at about 2,000 years old. It's more recent than Avarost, but the writing has fallen completely out of use. All kinds of notes are written throughout the book, too. Someone must have been studying it. If it's research material, that might make it Videl's book. Videl? Who's that? He's a weird kid who's way into studying history. He lives at the inn. Could you maybe deliver the book to him for us? We were told not to get too close to him, so... Yeah, sure. I guess. Uh, hey. You are weird. <laughs> my book! My book! Where could I have left it? Mm. Are you Videl? Is this yours? My book! Oh, that book is super important to me. Thank you. Uh... I'm Lafayette. Mm. I hope you don't mind that we flipped through some of it. Can you actually read Meliodasian script? You recognize Meliodasian writing? That's unusual in this day and age. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, really. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer who travels the world and explores lots of ruins. So to make sure I'm ready for anything, I've been studying mm. ancient history, starting with the Era of Darkness. The Era of Darkness? You're referring to the Dark Period, right? Right. Almost no written records from the age have survived. But if you compare the history before and after, you can tell something major must have happened. Wow, that's fascinating. I know! Oh. Look at those two, all worked up over an old buck. My little brother was just like that too. Luffy and our brother used to. <sighs> We've received reports of suspicious persons in the area. Have you seen anything? Not no. good. They're on to us. Quickly, hide in my house. <gasps> Thank you. He knows we are the suspicious people. Videl, have you seen anyone suspicious recently? Sorry, sir. I've been absorbed in my book. That's all right. Thanks. Look, I know it must be tough living alone with your mom. Just remember, your father's a praetor. He's out there fighting to protect us all. Keep your chin up for his sake at least, all right? Uh-huh.
Thanks for your help, Videl. Videl, your father is an exorcist? Yeah, he is. But don't worry, I won't say anything about you and your friends. I'm your friend too! Oh. Really? And to prove it, I'll let everyone in on a big secret. This book tells you how to make an Omega Elixir, an incredibly ancient and powerful medicine. If I'm reading it right, you need five ingredients in order to create the elixir. I've only translated one of them so far, but I'll tell you what it is. That's really nice of you, Videl. But I don't have any way to repay you for this. Oh, please, think nothing of it. I'd just like it if you came and talked with me again sometime. Yes. Of course. What are friends for? Oh, can I, uh, can I always return here every time? The Omega Elixir. That's an ancient medicine said to be able to cure any disease. But it was my understanding that no samples or recipes survived the Era of Darkness. Meliodasian script was used prior to the Era of Darkness, so I guess it's possible that Videl's recipe might be legit. He's just a kid. I don't know how much we can trust his translation. You saw his notes. I doubt many adults could even get anything out of that book. He might be onto something. Kids are more capable than we give them credit for, especially where their interests lie. I think we can trust Videl. Laffy used to read books intently like that, too. Furthermore, couldn't a hypothetical Omega Elixir be quite useful to you, Velvet? Laffy said, you look like you really want to track down those ingredients. Yeah, I do. Personally, I don't really care. <laughs> but if you want to look for them, I won't stop you. Okay. Okay. Do I cook it? I think I don't have to cook it. Chucky potato. It's not in cooking. Well, where's my friend? Aww. Where is he? Wait, wait. He, he, he's away? Oh, he's not here anymore. Oh, he's here. Long Dose Dose is an incredible rare mineral. Rays of it appears in the Vestor tunnel of his leg gun. I'm writing all about it in the recipe. Oh, one day I'm gonna do it. What? <laughs> we got places to go. Nothing is going on. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> This big storm came and swept me out to a class 4 island. And let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere, but then the water turned all gooey. Then I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck, and before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? Yeah, that's what I thought too, but these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary. I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, watch out for that gooey stuff. What did that pirate mean by class four? I've never heard of that. It's a classification the Abbey uses to help inform their strategy, an estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes 1 through 3 have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. So... Class 4 administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe? In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough manpower to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They send out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want, but no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. 
Makes you wonder how much they can administrate these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many Class 4 administrative zones? I've heard of 10 such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey, but I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're gonna wanna be prepared. Oh, okay. Demons, there's more of them. A whole band of them rampaging through Warg Forest. There was already one dangerous demon in those woods, and now we have more, and they're still on the loose. A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but... What do these demons look like? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a demon comes around, it's all, show us your cargo this, and don't leave port for a while that. How are we supposed to catch any fish? These demons really are a pain in the neck. If I was an exorcist, I'd lay down some justice, I tell ya. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. Yeah. Who are those demons? <laughs> First mate! You're all right! Sorry to worry you. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. Aizen! E you stay calm too, okay? Oh. <laughs> and you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir. And nobody died? All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, the sickness was tiny potatoes. <laughs> All right, then let's get ready to sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. <laughs> <sighs> the Pirate's Creed, huh? There's worse out there. <sighs> My God, Eleanor. Uh, you, hi. Uh, the cruise back. Oh, oh, I decide. Oh, okay. We go there later. We need to go there. <laughs> May maybe there is Magilu evolution. It's too bad that wasn't the real eye freed. But I'm glad everyone on the ship is feeling better. Yeah. Though it sounds like they never want to touch that Salatoma stuff ever again. <laughs> oh. What about Eleanor? She took it too, and her face went all wah! I don't mean how she looked. I mean how she actually feels. Oh, well, she looks like she feels better too. Good. You're worried about her, aren't you, Velvet? No, it's nothing like that. Let me tell you something, kiddo. When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So Velvet's... ripen? Mogilu, <laughs> quit giving Loppy set confusing thoughts. <laughs> no trouble expressing those feelings, I see. <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> I was like, hey, you gonna call? <laughs> oh wait, what? <laughs> The Abbey is supposed to exist to bring peace and order to the world. Everything the Abbey does, everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. You are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. Uh, uh... Something wrong? Whoa! Easy there. Just asking. S sorry I was just deep in thought. Is there something you need from me? Nah. Just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. No, I drank my Salatoma juice. Ah. Tasted like crap, didn't it? It... it wasn't that bad. Hey. What? 
Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more like I despise them. Ten years ago, a group of them attacked my village. They destroyed everything. And everyone. Including your family? Yes. The only family I had at that point was my mother. And in all the chaos, she... <sighs> all I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so, I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. So you can keep your pity. Gotcha. I will then. <laughs> oh, Rokuro. Skip what? Eh? Why they are giving the option to skip? Hey, 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 hey. Maybe to skip this art. She's opening up. She's opening up. But you know, you know. I think her change cloth is not yet here. What is that? That's called a pangyon, a type of bird native to this area. Pangyon. Their meat is succulent and tender and makes a lovely stew. Wow, what's it taste like? You'd eat that poor thing? Savage. <laughs> You're one to talk, demon. <laughs> It was one of my mother's specialties. Oh. All right, enough of the chit chat. Magilu, what's this grimoire friend of yours like? Hmm. Well, how do I put it? <sighs> oh. You know, like that. Oh. Okay. Like what? Got it, girl. <sighs> Well, to put it in a way those of meager imagination can understand, Grimm's got a sort of listless, aristocratic air about her. A noblewoman in her twilight, you could say. Huh. So you mean, like, a woman, but different from Velvet and Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong there. I tell you what, just keep an eye out for a grown woman. A uh, grown woman? Okay. I got it. Well, since we got her name, we could start by asking around. Exactly. Now you're talking. <sighs> What's up, kiddo? Moggy Lou, you're a grown woman yourself. So why is it you have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? Oh. Good question. Put simply, a long time ago, mine broke. Bagow! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> Your feelings broke? Come on. Let's question the townsfolk. Oh my god. Don't tell me. Don't tell me we're entering Magilu Point. Okay, tell me that we're entering Magilu Point, but you get me. Hey, this is really an island. Like, a tropical island. <laughs> Look at this place! Oh my god. Am I going to play? Oh my god, water! And I can walk on the water. Oh... It's become common practice to use South Gan lumber for shipbuilding, but there's a reason. Our trees really are the best for it. Natan trees only grow in South Gand. Their wood is light, tough, and doesn't rot. Perfect for shipbuilding. You know your stuff. Long ago, before people knew how to build seafaring vessels, Mid Gan and South Gan were separate countries. Then our ancestors fashioned rafts out of Natan logs and floated all the way to Mid Gand. A Mid Gan craftsman, amazed to see a humble raft cross the open sea, Return with our ancestors here to South Gand. He had used the natant logs to build a large, sturdy ship. Thanks to him, commerce took off between Midgan and South Gand, and the age of exploration began. 
The excitement of a new age had everyone floating on air, but within mere decades, Midgan declared war on Southgand. Ironically enough, it was ships made from trees from their islands that enemies used to invade them. The fighting continued for a long time, but in the end, Midgand emerged the victor. Our islands were occupied. As hard as things were, our ancestors still liked to joke about it. They'd say, Age of Exploration, more like Age of Exploitation. <laughs> when things were that bad, they could still joke about it? South Ganders have always been a cheerful bunch. We tend to look for the silver lining in every cloud. It may not seem like it these days, but South Gan used to be a place where the laughter would never cease. Some people even used to call it Shenanigand. Shenanigand. This must have been a really fun place. Dude, wait. The Mangolova has to rub the stage of smile. Smile is a gate that invites the Sheffer. Ah, okay. Sheffer. Oh, oh, thank you very much. I like life bottles. They revive me when I'm dead. That happens often, but we don't talk about it because we're already dead when it happens. I want these things. I want these things. Oh, I don't think I got. Okay, never mind. Bye. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, this guy. Okay, I think it's not this guy, but. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Now confess! Oh, how long have I waited to bear my soul to someone? But I've always lacked the courage. Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this chance today. Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most... No, it is you who has captured my devotion, my darling. There's no one else I want but you. Uh, what? <laughs> me? <laughs> but uh, my life is in service to the Empyreans. I... Hush. I want you to look at me the way I look at you. Hold me, darling! Smother me in your embrace! Uh, I don't... I... I... Those were the kind of lines I read in a romance novel. It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted so many hours with that piece of trash. Please, forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah! Lying! To a priest! How could you? Oh, no. I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin. Forgive me, Father, I've transgressed once more. I don't want to forgive you. Hey, hey, wait, can I? Oh, oh, oh. I oh, know, wait, wait. Me? Come, sinner. And repent your wicked deeds. Who? Me? I don't think I've done much that needs repenting. No, my son. You must be mistaken. For I can tell just from how you dress that a great many sins weigh heavily upon your heart. But it's not too late for you yet. You must confess your sins and repent. <sighs> yeah, I hear you, but I really can't think of anything. Have you ever wielded violence? No. All I wield are my swords. Well, have you hurt anybody with your swords? Yeah, but I haven't been able to land a killing blow yet. I've still got a long way to go. But the next time, I'll kill him. Uh, no, no, you have it all wrong. <laughs> you must repent for how you've used your swords. <clears throat> oh, I get it. I need to improve my cutting technique, right? <laughs> That's not what I meant either. Ah, then what do you mean? It's a priest's job to guide the layman, right? You'll have to start speaking more clearly if you want anyone to trust your advice. Get your act together, man. Uh, yes. I'll reflect upon the error of my ways. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, he's gone. Okay. Ah, is it the witching hour? Of course. Oh, please bless me. And whatever else comes to my mind. Okay, she's not here. There's no helping here of the people of the town. 
Give me this. Uh, oh, you're all northerners. Welcome. South Gan is made up of hundreds of tropical islands, where each island has its own town. Oh, but don't worry. He doesn't know, right? He doesn't know. Hmm. Give me this. Enter here. Let's see. Wait. So, how do you like our island? Nice and laid back, right? It's quite a bit different from Logris. This place was even more relaxed before the opening. But recently, a lot of our young folk have gone starry-eyed about the city and left us in the lurch. It's still better than it was when the demons first started showing up. We have the Abbey to thank for that. And because people are traveling more now, the need for ships has skyrocketed. Our lumber industry is booming. In other words, when the money started flowing, people let it go to their heads? That and those exorcists and soldiers from the bigger cities, they really seemed sophisticated. People from the other islands wear different clothes and have things we don't, you know? Getting worked up and worked over by what's trendy. Is that foolishness not the very definition of youth? If this keeps up, our island's traditions will fade away. That's what worries me. I understand how you feel, but you have to give young people the freedom to be themselves. Let's go up here. Maybe she's up here? Somebody? No. Oh, there are more up here. Okay, where am I going? Oh, oh. Oh. Equipment, my son. Oh, that was fast. I do. Ah, still not max it. Okay, never mind. Let's go down. Ah, right. The down moment is faster, right? Do we jump? Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not a demon. Let's see. Oh, let's see here. Tower, tower. Pardon me, we're looking for a woman. I'm afraid I don't. Oh, but I know where to get green worms. Limbs, things a bit. I don't want green worms. Let's see. Oh, there. Didn't saw that, but thankfully, learn a new title. How many titles you gonna learn? Hey, in my father's day, South Gang was a paradise. Stop it, I want the woman. Where's the woman? Maybe I do need to ask back there too. I didn't ask back there. Who got the answer? To the woman. Uh, do you know woman? She's got at least less artistical air about her. I don't know her, sorry. A boy your age shouldn't talk like that. All right, I'm sorry. The cathedral man told me that he lost his little brother to 12 years sickness. Oh. Some say you are born with it, others say it's a curse that falls on those who've seen something inhuman. A curse, is that really true? Oh, wait. He, does, he, he saw his sister being killed. Huh. Interesting. Oh, oh, we we found it. Right? Wait, did we found it? Still no leads on that grimoire lady. Magulo, when did you get that letter from her you mentioned? Hmm, hard to say. It must have been last year? A decade ago? Take this seriously or I'll feed you to the sharks. I think I'd at least rate a Kraken. Keep this up and I swear I'll eat... It's them. The final preparations are complete. Once you've assumed your new post, everyone will act on your command. 
Thank you, sister. But to be honest, I worry that these shoes I'm filling might just be a bit too big for me. You need not worry. You possess a special strength and quality that others lack. Shepherd Artorius has high hopes for your deployment to Polymedes. Fear not. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Believe you're a leader, and you will be. Yes. I'll try to make you proud, sister. They're sending him to Palamedes? Is that the name of a facility on this island? I had better get going. Safe travels. Oh, one more thing. Be careful around the demon and Haria. It's stronger than it looks. We've even had some casualties. Understood. Also, if you must drink the water, remember to boil it. Sister... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I worry too much. But I just can't help myself. I'm afraid that she's staying too long here. Okay. Gary, you get moving. So I like your dress. there's a demon in Haria. Well, sounds like it's a pretty feisty one, too. If so, it may prove useful. Still, what magical timing for Oscar to show up here at the very same hour we do. <sighs> I understand your suspicion of me, but have you any proof? None, it's true. But as an exorcist, you're certainly sympathetic to the Abbey's cause. And soon you may wish we were sympathetic. Eleanor hasn't been snitching on us. I'm sure of it. And how would you know? Are you watching her even when she's taking a bath? Oh. <laughs> huh? No, I don't. I... I always stay outside when she's taking a bath. And... Then isn't it possible she's communicating with the Abbey in secret while you're not there? You pledged to obey me until the day you die, correct? Yes, that I did. Remember, when you two trade blows, only the Abbey wins. One less demon, and one less traitor for them to worry about. While we're standing around here arguing, that demon could be attacking Grimoire! <sighs> it's true. Let's find some more people to question around town. <sighs> it was you? No, it wasn't. Girl? So what's it really like? Huh? The connection between Moloch and Vessel. Do you share, like, thoughts and feelings? Um, sort of. When I'm dwelling inside Eleanor, I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. Sitting in a box doesn't teach you how the box feels. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. Uh, I don't want to bathe with her, all right? I know. You're a boy and all. For her baths, we can send Bienfu. No, that's a bad idea. It'll have to be Mogulu. Or myself. Phew! What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes. But it's not like I'm sleeping by her side or anything. It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside her. Does she ever get out of bed at night? Not in my experience. And she sleeps so peacefully. Huh? When she's around you guys, she always looks so stern. But when she's sleeping, her expression is... softer, you could say. She lets her hair down, too. And I think it's kind of prettier that way. Huh. So that's what he likes. 
Well, keep an eye on her, but... But? Watch out for the older girls. Huh? Teresa and Oscar sure seem close. I've known them since I was an initiate, but I've never seen them quarrel, not even once. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, and he'd sulk and stop talking to me, but I found that adorable too. You did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, or tried to talk like he was in charge, after a while he'd be right there trailing along behind me. Like a little puppy dog. Puppies are a lot more obedient. I always had to keep an eye on him. Little brothers are odd creatures. Rokuro's a little brother. Is he adorable too? Huh? I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. But Chigure seemed like he was having fun. Sometimes you just don't make sense. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> little brothers. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Well then, that's perfect. You pretend the boy is your little brother. Huh? That's a bit extreme, but actually, when I'm talking with Lafayette, sometimes I think, this is what having a brother must feel like. I could be Eleanor's brother. Don't take any of this nonsense seriously, Lafayette. Malakim are just tools to exorcists. She can never think of you as her brother. Oh, yeah. You're wrong. I've changed how I view Malakim. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all talk. Don't believe her. It seems to me like you're the one who's treating him as a tool by forcing your own opinions upon him. Ooh, two sisters struggling for the affections of their brother. Eeny teeny candlestick, which one will the Muppet pick? How about an older brother instead? Hey, this doll? It looks like Bienfu. Ah, a keen eye you have, young man. That is a doll of the Empyrean Amenoch. That's... Empyrean Amenoch? Yep, no doubt about it. I've seen her with my own eyes. Real dignified, but not without a bit of a temper. You saw her? Why was she angry? Well, the Abbeys banned any profession of the Amenochian faith in Southgand, despite her popularity. Gotta assume that's what got her all bent out of shape. I tried talking to her, but no matter what I said, she was just like... <sighs> oh. Oh. Wait, that sounds like... Uh -huh. And that low-energy goddess you saw? The doll you've got here looks like her? Yeah, more or less. Ha! Fortune smiles upon thee, weary adventurers. That listless goddess is none other than Grim. Grimoire isn't human? When did I ever say she was? So, shopkeep, where'd you see her? I think it was down by McClear Beach. Pensively watching the tide come in? That's her, all right. Quickly, to the beach! <sighs> Why didn't you mention Grimoire as a Moloch before now? You can't be too careful with that information. Spies, spies listening everywhere! <laughs> Where do you want me to go? Ah, the beach, right. But wait, there's somebody I need to talk to. Where is it? Where is it? I? What does it mean to become an adult? <laughs> the eternal question of youth. Have you ever heard of the ceremony of adulthood? It's a yearly tradition on this island. If I remember right, it's totally wild. Everyone throws bananas and porringes at each other. Traditionally, yes, but things have changed over the years. Bananas and porringes are a thing of the past. People are always reaching for bigger and better things, right? Rocks. In this case, it's watermelons. <laughs> Whole watermelons. You're throwing watermelons? That's gotta hurt. Trust me, I know. But watermelons are the least of our worries. Recently, people have started flinging coconuts. Coconuts? Those things are as hard as rocks! Trust me, I know. Like getting hit with a brick. Now, every year, there are some kids who never make it to adulthood. 
You don't mean they... Yeah, I've kept putting it off myself, but it looks like this year I've got no choice but to participate. That's crazy! It's far too dangerous! And more importantly, how does it make someone an adult? There are ancient traditions that say overcoming danger marks a child's coming of age. Some people still cling to the old ways. You've hit the nail on the head. There are lots of old folks that sit around complaining how weak as darn kids are. The hypocrites. Back then, they used bananas and watermelons. <laughs> they even <laughs> cracked the watermelons ahead of time. I don't think cracking a coconut would help much either. So that's why you're standing about looking blue. I'm so ashamed of myself for being scared. If you don't want to do the ceremony, why not just skip it? I'd love to, but I don't really have a choice. I wouldn't be able to show my face around here if I chickened out. Having the courage to say no to something you don't feel is right. Isn't that the true mark of an adult? Wait. You're right! <laughs> now I can finally become an adult! Oh, yeah! Look how grown up I am! <laughs> you tell them, girl? <laughs> and getting carried away with yourself and acting the fool is the true mark of immaturity. Sorry, you're right. But let him be mature as an adult. Oh my god. Right, the beach. Oh my god, I cannot go through this. Right, the beach. <laughs> but before the beach. I didn't saw it. It was luck. The people of Southgand originally worshipped Amenuch, the Empyrean of Water. The lives of the people of the Southern Isles are inherently tied to the sea. Whether it was gratitude for a good catch or an appeal for protection, everyone offered their prayers to Amenuch. But the Abbey worships Enominot, don't they? Do the people still keep oh. their faith? Most of the people obey the will of the Abbey, but one small village deep in Southgand is a special case. The village is called Haria, and even now they keep their faith in Amenoch. They've even quarreled with the Abbey. I'm grateful that they fight off the demons. I really am. But do they have to dictate which gods we worship to? They think they do. It's their truth. Then again, they can't control what's in your heart, can they? Ah, thank you for making that clear. And Luffy and Inomina reacted to Luffy said. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just getting that in my mind. Like, remember that maybe something like that could be in, in case. Oh my god, a chest. There is Oscar. Hi, Oscar. <laughs> How you doing? Good time to see. There is no way for me to get there, right? Of course, they won't make a way for me to get there. Uh, which is the way for the... Okay. For the beach. Uh, stop. Why my neighbor got a dog? That's why I cannot have dogs. Because they bark. That's why I got a cat. Free. Guys, we gonna let it till here, so thank you so much for watching. I'm hungry and see you next one. If you guys want. I don't know. All the lights could pass in by And all my thoughts they multiply I see it flash before